Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Today is Sunday. Yesterday I went to the Arizona State Card Show. It's done by, I think, Collectibles on College. And um, it's down at the Phoenix Convention Center. It's a three-day show, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um... <clears throat> I got to say, I I was disappointed, but I should have known better, okay? Um, I didn't have a bunch of money. I wasn't looking for a specific card. Um, the last time that I went to this show last year, um, it said this was the fifth annual. I don't know if they've always been at the convention center. Again, I know last year I went to one and it was at the convention center. Um, that one, I was looking for a 55 Tops Hank Aaron. I wanted a 93 SP Derek Jeter. And I was able to find both cards as well as a bunch of other stuff. Um, but I had a significant amount of money I was working with. I went with a friend and um, had a really good time. Friday night, I took my boys camping. I didn't sleep well. I didn't get much sleep, um, which that's just kind of expected when you go camping, so that is what it is. Uh, we got back <clears throat> around, what time did we get back? We got back around 10, 10 a.m. Saturday morning, um, I showered and headed over to the show. Uh, I think the show opened at 10, um, 10 a.m. Anyways, I got there a little after 11, I want to say, but by the time I parked and uh, got in it was probably like 11 30 somewhere around there um i ended up spending 15 dollars to park and then it ended up being i think 950 for admission <clears throat> this is what i got so i mean i got some cards but these were all from dealers. I only made purchases at three different dealers. They were all dealers that go to the local monthly show, set up at the local monthly show that I go to, typically. Um, I spent less money on cards than I did on parking and admission to the show. So essentially, you know, I gotta add that into the cost of these cards. Um, anyways, but it was a big show. It was in a one giant room. Uh, it was better spaced so that the, the tables, there was more spacing in between the tables. So it wasn't like you were fighting to get through the aisles and things like that. That was nice. Uh, there were some big corporate type sponsors that were there. Um, I know Beckett had a booth. Uh, there were others. Anyways, um, let me just get into the cards. So let's move these out of the way. Let's take a look at this small stack. These were from, again, the same, same dealer. Um, these were a dollar a piece. Got a box that was a dollar each. Uh, it had various cards. All of the cards that I ended up pulling out were these Top Pristine. Probably because I was just not familiar with them. And I thought they looked cool. So, grab this Pure Power Hank Aaron. A Tyler Gilbert rookie card. So these are from 2022. And the reason I grabbed this is because on the back, it does mention 
the no hitter. So Gilbert may have climbed up the ladder without much attention by prospect watchers, but a no hitter last August in his first major league start grabbed their attention. Again, I'm collecting Tyler Gilbert stuff that mentions the no hitter because I was at the no hitter with my youngest son. So uh, this Babe Ruth pure power. I'm a sucker for older players on modern cards. I just think it looks cool. So I thought it was fitting to grab yeah, those aren't going to show on camera but that's okay uh, fitting to grab Hank Aaron and Babe Ruth from that set and then this one um, again I got to look into like how these came uh, this is a JD Martinez I'm assuming it's a blue parallel it's numbered 46 out of 75 for a buck, you know, the magnetic is, is worth it for a buck. But um, I, I know J.D. Martinez is on the Red Sox, but he did spend some time with Arizona, uh, a brief period of time, like half a season. Uh, but he hit four home runs in a game for the Diamondbacks, and so... I don't, I don't know. I just, I thought it was a cool card for a buck, number to 75 in a magnetic. So anyways, all right. The other two lots were just like dime cards, 10 for a buck. Um, so I'll just kind of run through them pretty quick. Um, I like the World Series stuff. So, oh, actually there's a couple of cards at the bottom that weren't a, a, a dime from here um so I, i'm going back into like the 60s and 70s and completing the uh, world series sets but i'm also trying to get them from the recent stuff so um i gotta look into this i gotta feel like this is some sort of parallel um but it's not numbered here's a pristine card for uh, Barry Bonds. I don't think I have this one. This is from 2005. Uh, there were a bunch of these Declaration of Independence cards. There's another lot of those. This was just a cool looking turkey red Mickey Mantle with Casey Stengel. Thought that was sweet. There's some numbered cards. This is numbered out of 150. Dwight Gooden and David Cohn, numbered out of 1999. Uh, here's a stamp album for the San Francisco Giants. Um, let's see, I'm not all that familiar with, with these. I didn't open it up or anything like that. Oh, there's a few stamps. Kind of cool. I don't know if those are actually where they're supposed to be or not, but pretty cool. Again, for 10 cents, you could get, I'll take it. Um, I have a bunch of these. I couldn't remember if I have the Duke Snyder. Again, it's one of those where it's like, for 10 cents, I'll take a chance. A couple more World Series cards. Uh, here we go. I did find a few more of these as well. I know some of them I have dupes of, but I'm hoping that maybe for trading or if somebody else is working on the set, let me know. Again, here's another big lot of those Declaration of Independence. I'm assuming there's probably some dupes, but at 10 cents a piece. So on the back, like if you put them all together, it would be the Declaration of Independence. So that's kind of cool. Uh, here's what, four more of the Distinguished Service cards. 
So I think I have the the Roosevelt, maybe the Truman, but I don't think I have this Mark Clark or this Hoyt Wilhelm. So that's cool. There was a few of these. Uh, I don't know. You know, some of, sometimes the more modern stuff I'm not sure of. Um, I don't know if these were from PAX or if you had to order these. But they had a bunch of these specific ones, which says maybe they had to order them because they were just these three. I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it. A Keith Hernandez Coca-Cola card. The, the shine on this was just too good to say no for 10 cents. Felix Hernandez. Kind of a cool shot how they were able to get him pretty much all into the, uh, the picture there. There were some gold labels, so I picked out, you know, some different ones for the players that I have binders of. Another really nice shiny insert, Matt Kemp. A lot of Dodgers in this with the World Series ones and uh, that Matt Kemp. And anyways, all right. So f those were a dime from the same dealer were these two cards. A 1969 Topps Doc Ellis rookie card. Had two of them. They were each two dollars. This was by far, in my opinion, the better condition. The other was uh, miscut. Um, and so, I mean, these it's not in good c condition. You can see creases and the corners, but uh, this is, I mean, this is how I like my vintage. Not perfect centering, but not too bad. Um, doesn't impact the image. I've always liked this Doc Ellis card, the picture, kind of where he's leaning forward, throwing. Obviously posed, but just a cool looking card. Two bucks. And then this one, this one is definitely miscut. Top to bottom and left to right. But uh, it's a 63 Fleer Mari Wills. Um, and as the top loader indicates, I mean, this is it. This is his rookie card. He did not have tops cards until later. And so this is the rookie. I have this card already, uh, but for two bucks, I could just, I just couldn't pass it up. Anyways, all right. I gotta go quick through this other stack. It's, I just like cards too much. Uh, 10 cents a piece from a different dealer. I think that's an Upton rookie. There were some Goldschmidt cards. Um, more so with the Cardinals. I wasn't sure if I had that one or not, but if I, I need two, one for the team set and one for the Johnson binder. So, um, a bunch of like, uh, late nineties, early two thousands inserts of big name players, maybe not all of famers, right? McGuire bonds. Uh, but if I came across these and they were ones that I wasn't already familiar with. I went ahead and grabbed them at a dime each. Uh, I'm in Arizona, so the Arizona Fall League stuff, I like that. I also collect cards with players holding awards. Um, a cool bomb squad. It's not the greatest condition, but cool card. Again, uh, just... If, if, if it was a card I wasn't familiar with, I went and picked it up. So, nice 
Travis Lee. I'm working on this set. Wasn't sure if I had the move on or not, but that was the only one that was there. Again, another insert that I just wasn't familiar with. A couple of newer things. Again, for a dime. <clears throat> Salvador Perez. I collect him. Great player, but he also lives in Goodyear where I live. An Ultimate Collection Steve Finley card. I don't see the Ultimate, or not Ultimate Collection, Ultimate Victory. Just don't see those very much. A couple more Goldschmidt cards. A couple more uh, newer parallels. Zach Gallen though for the D-backs. He's gonna start on opening day. Clint Frazier, Gold, Future Stars. Dwight Gooden, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one in my Gooden binder. Uh, Lumber Company, always like these. The various years that they did it, some are better than others. This one isn't fantastic in my opinion, but um, I would like to eventually have all of the Lumber Company inserts. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, there's a few more back in here, I know. More McGuire. McGuire and Sosa. I think I already have this one. And that's like a little tiny side PC that I want to do is cards that have McGuire and Sosa on them. I think that'd be sweet. Saw this Paul Canerco and thought of Zach and Porter. Uh, if you need this, let me know. Otherwise, pretty cool seeing him with the high jersey number. Must have been a early shot, you know in his career this was cool Alfonso Soriano and Rick and Keel I think that it's a refractor from Bowman's best um, year by year so I'm not sure when this card was printed I can't quite read it maybe 2001 but then they're looking back at the 1999 season, I thought of uh, Joe over at Four Soft Corners, the Rick and Keel. This one was pretty cool. So I know you're looking at it and you're like, I'm not sure who that is. Um, this individual Jarek Cunningham uh, did not make the majors, but was in the Pittsburgh Pirates farm system. Um, it has a few cards, but he... Uh, well, we first got to know him, uh, our kids were on the same club ball team. And then, uh, we did Little League and he coached there and he was the all-star coach. And so my son was on the all-star team. So he was on his, uh, that, that team that he coached. And we, we play against him regularly. Uh, he's on a different club ball team now. Uh, but we play against them. Sometimes we scrimmage against them because they live or, you know, they're kind of based out of Goodyear as well. Uh, but we'll play them in tournaments and stuff like that. So it was really cool just to kind of run across this one. It's numbered to 75. Um, a few other numbered cards. Again, hard for me to pass these up uh, for a dime. Some Elite Series. Again, I love the older players on the newer designs. I think it looks cool. Here's some more of the Lumber Company. So you got Bernie Williams, Carlos Delgado, Eric Chavez. Shout out to Ace Fan Jim and Todd Helton. As long as we're doing shout outs, Caleb, I know you're a big Rockies fan. All right, so I saw this, and um, I mean, it's pretty fitting this day in history. You've got Reggie Jackson and October, so Mr. October. Um, Okay, so this is when he hit the three home runs on three consecutive pitches. 
pretty sweet. I just started watching the Amazon documentary on Reggie. So far, it's pretty good. I'll probably finish it up after I do this video. Um, this is the only Sammy Sosa rookie card I found, but I have a binder just for Sammy Sosa rookie cards that I found in dime boxes. Um, this Stouffer's card, just an oddball Willie Stargell. Thought that was cool. Two more cards. Uh, this is probably not going to pick up that well on camera. It's a Mickey Mantle. Uh, it's some sort of promo. You could order these. Anyways. And last one. A gold Bay Ruth card. Couldn't pass it up for a dime. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.